Hello, let's talk about arm lift or brachioplasty. This is an operation to reduce the excess skin of the upper portion of the arm between the armpit and the elbow. It's uh, done to improve the appearance of the upper arm. Many patients will come in complaining of uh, this extra skin which may be hereditary or may be associated with significant weight loss. They're often troubled by this, particularly those living in warm environments who don't want to uh, wear short sleeve clothing because of their embarrassment with the extra skin. They'll often say that uh, grandchildren will uh, play with the skin and uh, call it bat wings, for example, things like that. But this is what we call uh, the indications or reasons for having an arm reduction operation. Exercise uh, will uh, help increase muscle tone, however, it will not reduce the lax skin of the upper arm. Um, the only in an operation will be appropriate to uh, improve the tone and, uh, uh, and contour. Well, um, appropriate patients for this operation will be of good health. Uh, there'll be people, of course, that have significant upper arm laxity and the uh, deformity, as I mentioned. There'll be healthy individuals who don't have major medical problems that could uh, increase the risk of uh, wound healing problems or uh, risk of surgery. And here, of course, we would not want to operate on smokers. If you're a smoker, don't expect that um, a, a major arm reduction operation would be performed upon you. This is uh, an operation where you would definitely have to quit smoking for a significant time prior to surgery. Well, what are the procedural steps? Of course, you come to the operation to have a consultation with me, and at that time you'll be examined and I'll check uh, your, your medical history. Assuming that you're an appropriate candidate and we want to go ahead with surgery, we have to consider, of course, anesthesia. I don't perform this operation under local anesthesia. Uh, I perform this operation under general anesthesia. We do this with a board-certified anesthesiologist who assures your health and safety. The incision, of course, as I mentioned, runs down the inside, uh, the back side of the arm. It's like a, a seam on, on a jacket. When the arm is elevated, it would be a, a scar that runs down the uh, undersurface of the arm like so. Uh, one has to be accepting of this scar before you would be an appropriate candidate for surgery. You'll see many um, marketing uh, uh, techniques uh, where uh, they'll talk about arm reduction surgery through a small incision in the armpit or axilla. This is uh, not an appropriate operation for someone who has significant extra skin of the arm, it's, it's just uh, not going to get the job done. <clears throat> well, your decision about whether you want to go ahead or not is a very personal one. You have to weigh the advantages and disadvantages of this operation. Of course, uh, risks have to be taken into consideration, which we would talk about at the time of your consultation. Risks, again, being a possibility of unfavorable scarring, a uh, risk of bleeding after surgery, a risk of infection, a risk of fluid accumulation, poor wound healing, uh, loss of, uh, of feeling around this area, uh, um, and, and, and other uh, potential uh, complications, although rare, can occur. You need to be aware of them and be willing to take their risk in order to get the game. Well, what's the recovery like afterwards? Well, the recovery is is uh, not particularly difficult after upper arm surgery. When you wake up, there'll be a, a bandage around your upper arm as well as an elastic bandage. And uh, almost always there's a very uh, thin uh, silicone drain which, which comes out and uh, uh, drains excess blood or fluid uh, from the wound for uh, a, a matter of days after the operation. Of course, you'll be given some pain medications to help you with discomfort and usually some antibiotics to reduce the risk of infection and, and very specific instructions and in how to care for your wound. And of course, I see my patients uh, frequently in the office uh, in follow-up where you could expect to see me regularly and of course be able to reach me on my cell phone 24-7. 
The results of arm reduction surgery are very long lasting. It's a relatively permanent result provided that you of course maintain your weight and um, general fitness. How much does it cost? Well you'll need to come into the operation and see our office staff and here you'll find out what it costs. The cost of surgery includes the surgeon's fee, the cost for the operating room, and the cost for the anesthesiologist. You'll get all of that information in great uh, detail so you know exactly what kind of uh, cost you're looking for, looking out uh, at uh, in this procedure. It's one that has a very high degree of patient satisfaction as long as you are willing to accept uh, the scar as I mentioned before. Look forward to seeing you. Thank you.